Maritime investigators in Norway, Britain and the United States are looking into why all four engines on board the Viking Sky Cruise ship failed while crossing a stormy stretch of Norway's western coast over the weekend. Introducing the All Veranda Viking Star. Investigators also want to know why the captain of the 2017 built luxury liner carrying 1,373 passengers decided to even venture into a storm that had been forecast for days. California passenger Susan Dolberg and 600 other Americans were part of a 12-day Northern Lights cruise when the idyllic tour turned into a nightmare at sea on Saturday. As the day went on, the seas got rougher and rougher. The ship was tipping at a 45-degree angle in each, on each side. Video posted online from people on the ship showed the vessel violently swaying with chairs and other furniture dangerously rolling from side to side. Water came bursting through that door. And I have water all over the ground. The crew issued a mayday call as wind gusts up to 43 miles per hour and waves over 26 feet hit the vessel. With passengers wearing orange life vests, the crew decided to anchor in the rough seas to avoid being dashed and potentially run aground along the rocky shoreline less than 300 feet away. We were in our cabin and everything was sliding every, everywhere and breaking and, and crashing and we could hardly move or walk. Shortly after the Mayday call went out, rescue teams on helicopters launched a dramatic mission to airlift the stranded passengers. Battling high winds and waves, rescuers brought 450 people safely to dry land. Among those airlifted, Danny Bates and his wife. We uh, went up on a helicopter with a sling, the two of us together, and it was quite scary. Passengers praised the work of the ship's crew. I will tell you, the crew aboard this vessel was amazing to us. They remained calm. They kept everybody else calm. Two cargo ships and one tugboat eventually towed the cruise liner to the port of Mold late Saturday afternoon, where all remaining passengers were evacuated. 17 people were hospitalized with injuries. George Thomas, CBN News.